This is code.org, Computer Science Discoveries, or CS Discoveries. We're working on Unit 2, which is Web Development. We're on Lesson 4, which is Headings, and Level 3, which is, well, Headings. So, let's see what they have us doing here. Headings. So far, you've organized your content into paragraphs. Yep. That was in Lesson 3, obviously. Another way HTML allows you to organize your code is by using headings. A heading is a short piece of text that goes at the top of a section of content, like a title, such as the word heading here is a heading. <laughs> um, do this. Find the heading in the web page below and use the inspector tool to see the, the code that makes them. Okay, so we've used the inspector tool before. I'm going to go ahead and click on it. Your inspector tool should say on, and I'm looking at the heading tag. So I'm ho hovering over hobbies. Oh, look, that's an H1. Notice it does have an opening and a closing with a slash tag. Let's see soccer. Ah, soccer is H2. And if you look over here, the word soccer appears slightly smaller than the hobbies, or a bit smaller. And then five years, that kind of looks bolder. So that must be a heading too. And if you look over here, five years, well, that's an H4 tag. Interesting. Let's keep going. Yep. H2 for baking. Interesting. Hmm. This is kind of strange. It looks like they have another hobby down here, drawing, and two years, but they didn't make it a heading. They made it, well, paragraphs. Interesting. I'm going to turn off inspect. Make sure your, you and your partner agree on what the tags do. Partner, do you agree? Great. <laughs> Good talk. Uh, change the code so that drawing, oh, that there we are, and two years match the heading on the rest of the page. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and go back here. I'm going to click inspector on. And if you look at baking, it looks like the tag is H2. Now let me look at 10 years, and the tag is H4. Okay, so let's go down here to drawing. Oops, you have to edit it over here, of course. Um, and we don't want this to be a paragraph tag. We want it to be H2. And then, I want to get rid of this, slash H2. So that's looking good. And now let's go ahead and check H2 and then slash H2. Oh, wait, why is this so much bigger? Oh, let's use inspect again. Hover over 10 years. Ah, the years is an H4 tag. So let's go ahead and change that. You need an opening tag in front of it. And then again, you want the slash and the closing tag. Notice the pink. Any code that is pink means, hey, there is a bug here, an error. And well, we have an opening H4 tag and a closing H2 tag. It says what? And that's why that's pink. But if we change it over, that looks much better. And if yours doesn't update, you can always hit refresh and save. And the preview area should update then. Does this look like that? Yep. Great. It looks much more consistent and smooth now. So let's keep this party going.